Hello everyone, this is Akun and welcome for a new video of Civilization 5. It's been a while. Uh, the reason is I've been uh, a little bit bored about Civilization 5 uh, lately. Uh, I'm quite dissatisfied with having to play the same thing over and over. Uh, I know there are some people that really like uh, the Hall of Fame and uh, that kind of stuff, but uh, I'm not a fan of the ho the Hall of Fame, and even on the community map, I'm getting a bit bored about uh, doing the same thing over and over. Even if I always try to get a very good uh, finish time, I mean it's pretty obvious that uh, the ways to get there are quite limited, and uh, the game don't really represent the challenge lately. So, uh, as, uh, as a result, I have uh, started to make my own mod. So, this is what this video will be about. This will be uh, the start of, um, of a let's play with my mod. It will show you what uh, I've been working on and what are the main, uh, the main points, the main, the main things that I've changed. Um, and uh, you guys will be able to play with the mod uh, pretty soon maybe uh, as soon as this video is released um... well, let's... sorry so uh, I've been also trying some of the other mod that I've tried to address balance but uh, either they are uh, really small mods like uh, they try to only fix one thing, uh, so for example, liberty or piety, whatever. Uh, or they are uh, there is the mod for uh, the NQ mod by uh, Fruit Strike, uh, which I take some inspiration from. Uh, from. But this mod uh, is, in my opinion, mostly aimed at multiplayer and uh, as a result there are some changes that I don't agree with in a single player env environment for example uh, he boosts uh, tourism from aesthetics a lot because in multiplayer it's very hard to uh, use tourism as uh, Phyrexis uh, designed it with uh, open borders and stuff to raise your modifier in multiplayer, uh, people won't give you open borders and trade routes, so uh, you won't be able to get this modifier. So you have to get it from somewhere else, and uh, therefore, Fruit Strike made the, cho the choice to boost aesthetics that way in order to work for it to work in multiplayer. But uh, honestly, in single player, I don't think it ma it would make much sense. Also, we removed some uh, single player component like research agreement, the Venice civilization. So, while this wouldn't be hard, uh, arch change to make for them to not be uh, uh, not be removed in single player, uh, the mod is clearly going in a multiplayer uh, way. So, if you want to play multiplayer, play a balanced multiplayer experience. I will. I would really suggest that you play the NQ mod. If you're more like me, uh, a single player, uh, I will suggest that you look into my mod. But there are also mods that are big and try to address balance. Uh, the main one currently is called uh, the Community Balance Patch, I think. Balance Patch or Balance Project. Um, it's a very big work, there is a ton, a ton of change. So if you want a really, a very different experience with uh, a very good quality modding, I will really suggest that you look into the commun community balance patch or community project something on C Fanatics. But the, what I don't like with it, uh, and this is why I've started to make my own, is that I think this mod goes too far. It uh, it changes the game a lot. 
at this point it's no longer a balanced patch it's more like uh, an overall honestly pretty similar to the communi communitas stuff for example it changes uh, happiness completely it changes the tech tree completely it adds new mechanics if you take the right uh, the right uh, add-ons to the mod um, and that's it so and my mods uh, one of the good points my mod my mod is trying to get is um, compared to uh, fruit strike which uh, also doesn't try to change the the game too much uh, my mod being focused on single player uh, also changes the artificial intelligence so don't fool yourself uh, the artificial intelligence won't uh, make a DT player uh, switch to king but maybe uh, people that veterans on DT may have a real trouble right now beating DT uh, there are some situations where I which I think are absolutely impossible uh, the for example the one city challenge was which was really quite easy um, in the normal game is probably impossible in my mod uh, this is a bold claim but uh, I've seen the AI play by itself so maybe with some really careful exploitation you may win uh, one city challenge but right now uh, this is very hard because the AI can uh, reliably win between turn 250 and 280 and the science rate has been severely nerf nerfed especially for one city uh, for small empires so people that want to play one city challenge will probably be disappointed unless they really want it to be a challenge like its name imply so enough talking I will just show you quickly what uh, the change notes look like uh, I'm not sure you can read it uh, very well uh, as you can see this is just for version 1 there, will, there is already a lot of changes uh, I will just point what the main changes are so there is a change in teching uh, the first boost to taking which are the national college and the university slots have been reduced uh, in the laboratories have been buffed so this is the main change the, the, the point of it is to make the science curve smoother so because I really don't didn't like that uh, between turn 50 and turn 100 you would, you would go from 50 to 100 and then by turn 130 you could be already at 250 science so I really didn't like this so the National College was reduced uh, the universities only have one scientific slot and on the other hand the laboratories have two scientific slots also the late game technologies cost a little bit more for everybody so enough talking about the nerfs what are the buffs because uh, you guys probably don't want to have just everything nerfed so what the, where are the buffs are so uh, I was dissatisfied in the base game by uh, how how your uh, culture culture income uh, was coming from it was especially for the people that wouldn't invest into aesthetics and great works and stuff your culture culture was going mostly from base culture which is monument and policies and the third source of uh, culture which was in some cases more than 50% of your culture was city-state so as a result I have tried to make um, you, the culture you produce yourself a little bit more attractive so amphitheaters, opera houses and museums give no more culture uh, great works give more culture 
Uh, and on the other hand, city state, city states, uh, cultural city states give a little bit less culture. Now they are they are the same as a religious city states in terms of yield. So expect four culture uh, in the ancient era up to I think it's 16 in the late era. Uh, tourism has been buffed uh, all around to uh, compensate. Uh, now, white empires are a lot better. Uh, the gold is easier because I have lowered the maintenance, uh, which was a really big problem for big empires, maintenance. And uh, which one of the biggest change is that uh, additional cities, cities no longer uh, give a tech penalty. Uh, right now this is a little bit experimental because the AI and DT can get very very crazy, crazy in expansion and uh, I think it may snowball a little bit too much so maybe the tech penalty will go will, will be brought back but uh, at a lower rate like uh, 2 or 3 per percent. Uh, the last change for wide empires are the how the national wonders cost uh, work. So they now um, they now cost more as a base, but the increase per cities has been decreased. So it means that right now four cities empire will have the same cost uh, for national wonders, while smaller empires will get. Uh, a higher cost and bigger empire will get a smaller cost uh, relative to what it was before. Big empire still pay more than small empire. It's just the slope that has been reduced and the intercept has been increased. Uh, military warfare is very different. Um, right now range units have been nerfed a bit and melee units have been buffed and also cities, uh, city strength, strength has been severely reduced making, it, making melee units a lot lot more useful to capture a city and a lot more useful to defend city. Uh, you will see if you get uh, which will probably happen because as you will see the AI is also more aggressive so um, when you get attacked be sure to have melee units because it is guaranteed you will lose cities without melee units. Uh, late game archer units which are the gatling gun, the machine gun and the bazooka are now real range unit with a range of 2 but their strength has been reduced as a result. Uh, policy change, uh, we will see that in game, but the, I have worked on all policies. Um, some changes can are really experimental and debatable, whether or not they make sense, whether or not they are good, whether or not they are too good. But uh, here it is. Uh, uh, policies have been changed in, uh, in order to attempt to make some trees a lot more attractive or some policies a lot more attractive. For example, the wall piety tree has been in, has been buffed, making it more attractive. And for for something like patronage, some policies have been in, have been buffed. Not all, just to make the wall tree attractive rather than only scholasticism. Uh, same thing for commerce and exploration. There is more or less work going on in this tree. Uh, exploration is a little bit dissatisfying, I think, at, at the moment, but it's a little bit better than it used to, to be. Um, the layouts have been changed. Secular, uh, secular rationalism has been severely nerfed. The layout has been all changed. Now the science bonuses are at the end of the tree, what, while the uh, let's say the weaker uh, the weaker bonuses are at the start of the tree.
and secularism now give only one science and two science per academies. Uh, religion religion do, didn't change much. The faith cost has been reduced when the ages advanced, and wonder sieve and buildings don't haven't really been changed yet in this version. It will change in the future, but for this version, <coughs> these were the main change, with some change for the AI. So the AI has a lot a lot of change. Uh, it is now more aggressive and uh, it makes some decisions smarter. Uh, of course, it's not a very intelligent AI. Don't expect it to play like a human. This will never happen. But it should be a little bit more uh, more interesting to play with. Um, for a, and the warmonger system has been also changed. Uh, we will see in the game. And there are some extra changes. Merchants, especially merchants, are a little bit better, giving four gold instead of two. Uh, great scientist uh, discovery value is now fixed on creation; it no longer increases with time. I may make the same change for a uh, great writer. Um, calendar and trap and uh, calendar luxuries and trapping luxuries give a little bit more gold to make them more attractive tied to work and now uh, city all cities have a base yield of two food and two hammers I didn't really like the fact that you were looking for um, <coughs> heals to settle which already give a boost to defense which as you will see is pretty important right now because going from a city with a defense of 7 to a city with a defense of 10 is a pretty big boost. Um, the LL chain and the, this is just a recap of what has changed in the DLL. Um, so I've added code for all the decisions I've talked about and this is just bugs that I have to fix. Alright. <coughs> So enough talking. Let's start the game. So I have prepared a little bit, a little game with Persia uh, on the standard Pangaea, and uh, we will play with on duty. I don't even know if I can easily beat duty right now, especially if we so if we um, if we spawn next to someone like Augustus or Attila. Uh, it will be a very very tough game. Alright, so let's go. Let's also pick something that uh, sounds like a good start. So as you will see the game hasn't changed too much. You will still feel that you play the same game. But the game has been streamlined and uh, is in my opinion overall better. So I will settle on this style. I think it's a pretty good option with one heal and one sheep and we're all next to a river and am I playing with my mod alright never mind I have put the wrong mod in sorry about that too bad the map wasn't bad game editor and I will put my mod in uh, right now regarding compatibility the mod isn't really compatible with a lot of stuff first because it changes the DLL so anything else that changes the DLL is 100% non compatible um, it can work with everything else. The thing is that change <coughs> that use XML or um, LUA change. You can play with those, but since this is a mod that tries to balance thing, things, I'm not sure what kind of balance you will have when you add mods that have nothing to do with it. 
uh, of course a mod that uh, that are just interface change stats and uh, stuff like this are perfectly okay but if you want to add your favorite civilization you can go ahead I'm not guaranteeing that it will be balanced but you can try it out for the best experience I just suggest you use my mod and uh, enhanced user interface so uh, let's uh, put things so I think everything is okay it's a normal Pangea and we play as Pangea So the birth to melee units suddenly made a lot of unit units a lot more attractive. For example, the Immortal is right now a very strong unit. It used to be uh, strength 12. It is, now, it's, it's now, it is now strength 13. It's not a very big change, but since melee units overall are more useful, it was the Spearman is already more useful. Therefore, the Immortal is even more useful, especially since it heals at double rate. The Satrap Court is a bank that gives happiness. It has always been good, it will stay good. The Achaemenid Legacy makes uh, Darius a pretty good civilization to rush one person during your first Golden Age. So, one of the first changes you will notice is that even if I settle on the flat ground I would get two hammers but as you can see my capital is a really really weak so let's play as we uh, are used to so uh, another change is that now the palace gives to culture so it will boost up your acquisition of um, policies without having to make a monument or hope for a cultural ruin and I feel I felt that it boosts uh, piety and honor uh, pretty well to uh, give this early culture boost So this still works. We have a pretty nice start, a lot of luxuries and three uh, three bonus bonus resources. Uh, so we have a lot of bad terrain up there. Um, honestly, I would like to get out of this difficult area. Oh, sorry, there was the wind. Alright, so the first AI, China. Let's start trade.
So Mo we have Montezuma in the north. Not too bad. I won't get this one. So we have the opportunity to steal this walker. Uh, I will warn you uh, for worker stealing. It is still possible, but you will anger the AI more than you, it used to be. So uh, be careful. But I think I will do it anyway. Montezuma is generally not a very friendly neighbor, so I will get this work. Alright, so we have a, we have a few options. Uh, Liberty is pretty good with uh, Persia anyway because of the free Golden Age. One thing that has changed with Spidey is I have a switched Republic and citizenship. This makes this line a lot better if you don't build, if you don't steal workers. But for those that want to invest into piety and then get another tree and who were used to get free workers, this is weaker. Uh, this may be a change that is. Uh, I may change this back. Uh, and the Republic has been a little bit buffed to 10% production for building instead of just 5. The other option was to give uh, Republic 5% uh, on everything. Uh, tradition hasn't changed much. much. The only thing that has that has changed is that I have reversed the uh, the last patch uh, change that was giving oligarchy as a requisite for legalism. I hate this change. I think it's uh, a very poorly. Um, it's not. A, it's not a, an elegant way to uh, balance your trees to just put crappy things uh, before uh, the rest uh, uh, which is uh, one reason why I'm not satisfied with the way I've designed uh, rationalism right now because I'm exactly doing that giving you a poor bonus first so this will be probably a change at, at some point but now it will stay like this so we could go piety, but do we have a decent uh, piety start? We have three, um, we have three silvers and gold, two extra silvers. So maybe going piety and trying to make a strong religion would be a good idea. So this is what I will do. So piety, what has changed? The uh, opener now gives one face to the capital in order for me to hope it will give you a nice pantheon. And in one turn we finish the monument, so it will be time to make the shrine. So right now, having buffed uh, the Spearman, this makes this kind of unit a little bit too strong when you get it out of a ruin. For example, I'm pretty sure I can one-shot this. Oh no, I can't. Oh, because this was a scout. Okay. Oh, and yes, one of the big change, no uh, archer units from the AI, move and shoot. 
before if uh, the uh, the archer was here he wouldn't go like this and shoot he would just move and then do nothing it would have he would have to have uh, found something in his uh, in range to shoot but I can heal because I get two, uh, 20 because this is an immortal so it's pretty easy to heal So right now I think this opener with Liberty works a little bit better than in use that it used to. I get the bonus introduction to make the shrine. Once I have the shrine plus the opener I get two faith. Two faith at the start of the game guarantees me a pantheon. So if I'm not too stupid I have chosen piety with a nice uh, um, a nice faith start. And if I have a nice faith start, I will get my religion. Then, uh, in a few turns, I should get the second policy, which will be organized religion. Or organized religion will give me faith and culture from the shrine. So this is where the culture comes from in liberty in uh, piety. It comes from uh, the shrines and temple. The I'm not sure about the temple buff into organized region. Maybe it will be moved elsewhere. To not make this policy too good by itself. If another uh, someone that would open liberty would go into piety, get this, and then get too much out of organized region. So maybe the bonus to temples will be moved. So maybe it's time to invest into a worker. This is a very nice start, honestly. Well, this allows us to farm experience, I guess. Alright, so we got our Pantheon, and of course we will go with Religious Idols for the faith and culture in... Um, so, this is not necessary, let's go like this. So new change now cover is is available right uh, at the first promotion. You no longer need to get drill or, or shock to get cover. So this is this still works. This may disappear at some point. Alright, my uh, scouting pattern is pretty bad. Like, my scouts are too far and I have little explored around me. So I, have, I will bring them back this way. I should also have looked for uh, city states to give me um, workers, so maybe if. So let's pick this. So this is probably something that will be changed because, as you can see, I can maybe take the city just with an immortal. Uh, because it, it doesn't have units. If you had units, it wouldn't be possible. Um, it's maybe a little bit uh, something that I will have to change.
but to be honest it's not that different than uh, with uh, when you get Attila and you get uh, a bad ring ram Let's make an additional scout. So we won't attack everybody because due to some changes I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, no, this is stupid. One, two. Wait, I as well do this. Oof, okay. Alright, so we have some marble here. Although it will really piece China if we sit on here. Alright, so the third one, uh, you have a choice between these, but honestly, this is something that is a little bit better later in the game. I think the best one to take at this point is Mandate of Heaven because it will reduce the cost of the profit. As you can see, it will take me 38 turns, but with this, I gain 10 turns. Uh, do, we have, do we have iron? We have some iron in this area. So we could go for a sword rush on uh, Montezuma. This is right now a very strong uh, starting op uh, opener. Just make a lot of swords. Also we have a coastal city so we could want to make the Colossus. So I want working is pretty good, but I also need the luxuries, so I will have to go for calendar.
so let's be friend with her. Oops. Okay. So she may be deceptive. Six. Oh, okay. It is uh, it is lucky. I uh, will bring this guy down here. Could use extra workers from the city states. No, nope. don't want to help you. Okay, I will cut the video here, I will just re